everything he did was the right move. He saved ground uh, around that turn, waited till he straightened up, down the lane, gets up and wins by a neck. Most and another disappointment for Bodie Meister, but again, game. Obviously very, very happy. The dream continues to live for you. What's this mean to you? Well, more than anything, I just, uh, I'm glad, you know, that I keep no disappointing people, you know. I always thank everybody uh, for the support. But, like I say, it's not me, it's just him. It's just all about the horse. He just keep proving people wrong. <laughs> I actually, I have to tell you, I talked to Mike Smith after the race, and he said, you know, I slowed down the pace, but that's just a good horse, and people don't give him credit. Obviously, you support that same feeling. Well, like I, I keep saying this since day one, like, I believe in him because I'm on him. And he deserves to be, like, uh, able to give him a shot because, like, nobody put him in this way. He put himself here, and then he just keeps putting people I'm so happy for him because he's just a great horse. Like you said, they didn't. The race didn't set up for him. They didn't go nearly as fast today as they did in the Kentucky Derby. Were you able to lay closer and get the position that you wanted? And were you confident throughout that you had the horse to get there? He has a tremendous kick. If you have seen me before, like in the interviews, he has a tremendous kick in the end. Like he's more smart than I am, so I can just wait for me till I ask him if he goes for everything. Well, you know the next stop is in three weeks. Now you have to try to go a mile and a half. What about a mile and a half with him? We'll see. All right, uh, my last question for you. Your agent, Ivan Purick, at home watching. 86 years old, he couldn't be here. What would you say to Ivan? Well, thanks a lot that he took the time. He took the time to, uh, I knocked, I knocked a few doors before anybody took me, and he's the only one who gave me the opportunity to be, to work for me. So it's just, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be here either. And I, one more thing, last time my ballet say, but I didn't say hello to him, so I want to say hello to my ballet here in Santa Anita. I didn't forget, I promised him, but I wasn't going to forget. What's his name? Jaime. I know one thing, I'd hate to play poker with Mario Gutierrez because he doesn't show his hand much. Yet. Uh, I didn't think he had a chance right here because of the soft early fractions, but one of the things that helped him was he got behind creative cause around the turn and actually saved some ground once again and waited till he straightened up for this big burst. He knows that he's got a good turn of foot. This isn't just an average horse that he's running by here right now, Randy. And as those two draw away from the field, i got to point out, given the running time here, I don't think Bodie Meister was really feeling any serious effects from the Kentucky Derby. I think he ran his race, and I'll have another just ran him down. Yep. <laughs> and Doug O'Neill, well, we nice know how the monster he can be, threw his hat into the stands at the Derby. He kissed the trophy, he kissed Kenny Rice. There he is, jumping up. And 